I am the light. I am the flame. I am the struggle born from pain. I am truth, free of all chains. I am a legend, the eternal flame. I am the art, darkness couldn't tame. I am the fire that ushered in change. I am the poetry, heaven's choir sang. I am the champion, perseverance became. Say my name! I'm immortal, you can't stop me. Say my name! I'm eternal, you can't block me. Say my name! I'm burning with that anointing on me. Say my name! The greatest to ever do it. Watch me. I know you want to give up. I know you want to tap out. I know you ain't got nothing left in the tank. I know they hurt you. I know you mad at the world. I know you want to check out early. But you're not hearing this message by mistake. God heard your prayer. He's about to make a fool out of everybody who ever doubted you. Don't you give up. Don't you tap out, don't you quit. You turn me up and you let them know that Billy said to keep fighting. Let on my watch, I'm not gonna let you give up. You turn that volume up in your speakers. You turn that volume up in the gym. You turn that volume up in your AirPods and keep fighting. God has a plan for you. I know it doesn't make sense. I can feel your tears running down your face, but I'm here to tell you, God loves you, he will not fail you, just keep fighting. Don't you quit, champion, until the world is screaming your name. Say my name. I'm immortal, you can't stop me. Say my name. I'm eternal, you can't block me. Say my name. I'm burning with that anointing on me. Say my name. The greatest to ever do it, watch me. feel like nobody hears you but I can hear your spirit crying on the other side of these speakers I'm here to tell you God loves you you are not hearing this by mistake God is gonna turn this thing this test you're going through into a testimony don't you quit say this with me I am the light I am the flame I am the struggle born from pain I am truth free of all chains. I am a legend, the eternal flame. I am the art, darkness couldn't tame. I am the fire that ushered in change. I am the poetry, heaven's choir sang. I am the champion, perseverance became. This is what a champion looks like. Say my name. I'm immortal, you can't stop me. Say my name. I'm eternal, you can't block me. Say my name. I'm burning with that anointing on me. Say my name. The greatest to ever do it. Watch me. It's time to get up off the mat, champion. Don't let the world write your story. Get your pen out and you write it yourself. Don't let the world define you. You define you. Just because somebody else didn't succeed, don't let them put their limitations on you. Stop asking for permission to live the dream that's in your heart. You don't need their validation. You don't need their approval. You don't need them to believe in you. You need to believe in me. I need you to find that champion in you. I need you to find that warrior in you. I need you to find that overcomer in you and get up. It's time to get up off the mat, champion. Make the whole world say it. Say my name. I'm immortal. You can't stop me. Say my name. I'm eternal. You can't block me. Say my name. I'm burning with that anointing on me. Say my name. To ever do it, watch <laughs> I'm Dr. Billy Owens Brooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable. Every thought I have is intentional, single minded, and laser focused. I've learned to steer and consolidate my imagination in such a way that it projects my desired outcome upon the canvas of the world. I've learned that one must not only imagine, but imagine consistently until the dream takes full root in the mind. These roots 
will eventually grow legs the very legs that you dream will walk with right out of the mental realm and into reality this was not something i learned overnight i spent years in frustration wondering why i wasn't achieving the things i wanted to achieve i questioned why certain goals or outcomes of mine manifested while others didn't it seemed random at times with no rhyme or reason behind the failures or successes but i kept on each day with my eyes closed, I spent hours in the dream kitchen envisioning everything that God kept stirring in my spirit. Over time, I developed the mental discipline to steal the mind. I embraced the spiritual truths and I discovered the creative laws behind the process that governs the birthing of ambitious dreams. Now the mind movies and visions that I scripted on the storyboard of my closed eyes, the world sees with their eyes open now you dreamers bow your heads and pray with me lord remove all beliefs of limitation from my spirit baptize me in truth cleanse my mind from error let the dreams that you planted in me begin to breathe welcome to the dream kitchen here prayer is not an asking process it is the creative one and the lord answered me and said Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it for the vision is yet for an appointed time But at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come It will not tarry hear me now to walk in our true kingdom power We must stop vibrating at mortal frequencies that conflict with the harmonies of divine truths to be still and know that I am God is to return to the perfect musical key in order that heaven hums her music in. Let every song of life be written, arranged, and played in the same key so that our mind and actions harmonize with our creator. I strum the divine chord and my harmony summons the full manifestation of who I am. To accept Christ is to fully acknowledge God's true residency which is within us. All the dreamers close your eyes. Welcome to the dream kitchen! In the modern world, to usher in lasting change, we must do more than just mobilize people. We must mobilize our minds for us to understand the scriptures properly. It must be read and understood from the first person view and not the second or third. He who has ears, let him hear. It's natural for us to dress for the war, but we must overcome this urge and instead dress for the victory. War cannot exist in a society where the dress code has risen above it. Science has taught man that he cannot travel faster than the speed of light. The word of God, however, has taught us that we are the light. To become like our creator, we must stop acknowledging light and speed as two separate entities and instead see them as they are. One, when we renew our mind in this manner, we embody the truth of Jesus' teachings that says I and the Father are one. To walk in our true kingdom power, we must stop vibrating at mortal frequencies that conflict with the harmonies of divine truths. Intentional thoughts like matter have mass. If these thoughts are considered Consistently held, that mass increases. The greater the mass, the greater the gravitational force to draw the intentions of those thoughts. Mass has not only the ability to draw things toward us, but also the capability to bend time and shorten the distance between us and our desired outcomes. These objectives of our intentional thought become the moons and satellites that orbit our life. To hold a vision in the mind is to bring the power and make it plain upon tables that he may run and read it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry close your eyes can you see it young dreamer listen thinking is the mind in motion therefore our lives are under newton's laws of motion 
His first law of motion states that a body remains at rest or in motion at a constant speed in a straight line unless acted upon by a force. It's important for us to remember that every thought we think creates an inertia, a force moving us in a specific direction. If we desire to change a particular situation in our life, we must think new thoughts collectively align with the direction we want to go. We must continue engaging in these thoughts until the momentum of these new thoughts is greater than the thought force that established our current predicament. Now listen closely. Thoughts held continuously in one direction will create momentum in that direction. When we steal our mind in meditation, we slow down the momentum of these past thoughts. From this stillness, we can concentrate on new thoughts, which will steer our life in a more desired direction without as much thought force resistance. To walk in our true kingdom power, we must stop vibrating at mortal frequencies that conflict with the harmonies of divine truths. Close your eyes. Welcome to the Dream Kitchen, where here, prayer is not an asking process, but a creative one. Let us not pray that we catch momentum. Let us pray that we become it. I'm not here anymore. My hands are no longer mine. The spirit does the writing, does the speaking, does the walking. My feet height a stranger's path. I know I live, live in some realm, somewhere I exist, exist in the fog, but I'm not here. Definitely not here, not anymore. Not anymore. I wake up in places, in spaces, in poetic phrases, scribbling prophetically, constructing sentences that have seen the face of God. Unaware of how I even got there, unaware of where the words even came from. My signature sits at the bottom, but the paper doesn't know me. My signature sits at the bottom, but the paper doesn't even know me. I'm a prisoner, prisoner of the creative forces, just a slave, slave to their burning voices, their thoughts, the thoughts behind the thoughts, they think through me, speak through me, live through me, I do what they tell me to do, cause I'm not here, not anymore, it's as though I don't exist, as if my lungs forgot to breathe, but I'm not here, definitely not here, not anymore, I'm not asleep, but the dreams seem to dream themselves, they imagine for me, they long to be born through me, so anxious, anxious to come into the world of chaos, my notebooks filled with their ramblings, my word photos capturing their shadows, I can't stop them, I can't resist them, I can't even see them, yet they stand where I used to stand, they convey in a language, a language that I never spoke, they use me to do their bidding, to do their living, and I let them, cause I'm not here, I'm definitely not here, not anymore, welcome to the dream kitchen. The closer you get to victory, the more aggressive the enemy gets. I've learned that the moment we want to give up most is usually at the dawn of our breakthrough. We are right there at the gate, we just can't see it. It's a war of mind. You gotta see that dream with your imagination so clear that you bend reality around what you want. When a dreamer gets called stubborn by the world, he wears it proudly like a badge of honor. He knows that the average person should never understand what he's doing, why he's doing it, nor should they ever believe that it's possible for him to achieve it. The world's rejection and unwavering resistance are his biggest confirmation that he's on the right track. They also reveal to him who's called to be a part of building that dream and who's not. Those blind to your future are disqualified to be a part of it. What masked itself as madness in the beginning will eventually be recognized as genius in the end. The enemy is no match for the faith that set that dream in motion. What the blind can see they call madness our active imagination is the alchemy that transforms spiritual truths into physical equivalents those who display genius those who projected greatness those who arose from nothing to become something were all first laughed at doubted and made fun of the rejection of the world did not stop them it merely intensified their desire to overcome the struggle and ascend to even higher levels of achievement what the blind can't see they call madness there's a painting 
painting behind the painting, a story behind the story. But who can see? Who can see what they can't say? Who knows what can't be seen? We've all heard it before, but never really heard it before. This is the place, the mental state, the inner gates where we seek to live. The painting behind the painting. Let's run, run to the safe havens. Let us represent, represent the abstract with the structure while making love to the mystical. Pretending the chaos isn't chaos as we stand in solidarity, united under the banner of being audacious, rejecting the arms of reality in order to fool ourselves. For our lie, our lie is the only real that we will accept. Let us run, run to the safe havens. Let us imagine, imagine that what is no longer safe will still protect us while making love to the typical, pretending that the boredom is exciting as we stand divided in lies, united under the banner of being afraid, rejecting the arms of reality in order to fool ourselves for our lie. Our lie is the only real that we will accept. Do you remember the one they all doubted? Behold now the dreamer, the dreamer that rejection could not deter, the stubborn soul that wouldn't let go, that never in his life accepted the word no. We all owe him dearly, for his resilience has taught us, taught us that nothing can stop a fool in love. And the choir said, what the blind can't see they call madness. Can your eyes gaze above the walls that most men submit to? Can your feet stand firm in the rage and rivers of doubt? For your children, your dreams, your future, Future would depend on it. While justice sleeps, you'll have to overcome the sins of your fathers. For no one other than you can walk that last mile. But that mile, when you walk it, it'll make you famous. I said it'll make you famous. Each failure will come with its own form of loneliness. You'll have to learn to surf the tsunamis of their betrayals. How to swim in the oceans of your own bitterness. How to stay afloat even when the seasons abandon you. Are you willing to sail the violent seas for a shot at glory? If so, so, then set your sails to the wind. And the choir said, what the blind can't see they call madness. Do you remember? Remember the one they all doubted? Beautiful is the day that the genius finds out he's not crazy. Let him celebrate. Behold now the dreamer, the outcast who changed the world, the man who was brave enough to dream with his eyes open, that never in his life knew the word quit. We all owe him dearly, for his resilience has taught us, taught us that nothing, nothing can stop a fool in love. Who am I, you ask? I am the revolution of the soul, a pain so brilliant that the world went blind. I never cared what others thought. I just took my place in the sky and made the night envious. My flame challenged their narratives, their illusions, their perceived limitations. Unbothered by their resentment, I became the art that did the impossible. What they called stubborn was just a genius they couldn't comprehend. What they called crazy was just a greatness that they could never achieve. A language that their tongues had not the capacity to speak. A dream that their small minds could not imagine, yet they admire the wings of the butterfly. Behind the barbed wire, who could teach me the etiquette? The etiquette for being misunderstood. I war with uneasiness. Everything average makes me sick. Beyond the reach of crowds, what do I do? Do to stop this voice, it never ceases. I wrestle with poetic demons. I speak for the lost and all those going through pain. Every word I say, the sound of a comeback. Testifying of your victory. A witness to your overcoming. Because I am, I am the voice in the flame. Inside the raging furnace, where do I find an apology? An apology befitting of my rebelliousness. I fight the fist of that doubt. How many know what it's like? Like, like to be young, gifted, and crazy Over the walls of resentment Why am I? Why am I so hard for others to accept? Must they slander every corner of my existence? Then let it be as they wish, for I am the voice Every word, the sound of a comeback Testifying to your victory I am a witness to your overcoming Because I am burning I'm the voice in the flame How many know what it's like? Like to be young, gifted, and crazy. I argue with emptiness and I war with average. Let the voice, the voice of the flame speak. Remind the warrior of his story. 
as we seek purpose. We are kings of realms that have no thrones. Have you ever forgotten your name? Has the season ever spoken like a stranger? Then let the voice, the voice in the flame speak. Remind the king of his story as we seek destiny as descendants of the storm. My hands struggle, struggle to stand in the storm of creativity. Your winds blow, blow forbidden wisdom on my soul. Violent and treacherous are the phrases you reign. Fierce and brutal are the winds of your pain. Yet the lines are soaked with mastery. It all makes sense. It all makes sense now. If one thinks those thoughts shall eventually overcome him, the fire in the mind shall burn. Burn the path until destiny is secure. We bow. bow to the unseen kingdom of thought for she is the true power and authority behind the rule every word I say the sound of a comeback testifying of your victory I am a witness to your overcoming because I am I am the voice in the flame when vision procreates with hard work dreams become a reality our world is the art of our thinking when truth is held with the pain of thought, the canvas changes. As believers, God lives within us. Therefore, the dream that has been stirring inside you need only be spoken to. Remind that dream that you are the source. Speak to it with kingdom authority and command that it come forth out of the imagination into reality. The difference between the greats and the rest is the common person seeks an excuse to not do something where a champion seeks an excuse to do it. When people rile from a champion emotionally, they think they're actually taking something. However, it is the champion who has tricked them into giving him the inner motivation required to fulfill his divine destiny. To see life through this type of paradigm will open up the doors of unimaginable victories, personal accomplishments, and immense glory. When you know your God, whatever someone tries to take from you only becomes lighter fluid. This allows what's burning inside you the ability to burn even brighter. Don't expect the common person to understand what it takes to be great. Small dreams when I quench the appetite of a warrior's stomach. Destiny is birthed in the womb of sweat. Stop playing small, timid, and scared because you're worried about what other people are going to think. If your pursuit of greatness makes them uncomfortable, then that just disqualifies them from being in your future. There are two choices. You can have the world's approval or you can have your success. You can't have both. Choose one. Beyond the reach of crowds, what do I do? Do to stop this voice that never ceases. I wrestle with poetic demons inside the rage and furnace. I am a legend, immortal. Where do I find an apology? An apology befitting of my rebelliousness. I fight the fist of their doubts. How many know what it's like to be young, gifted, and crazy? Over the walls of resentment. Why am I? Why am I so hard for others to accept? Must they slander every corner of my existence? Then let it be as they wish. I am the voice. I am the voice in the flame. Every word, the sound of a comeback. I am testifying to your victory, a witness to your overcoming. I am the voice in the flame, burning. Fire truth music. This is Dr. Billy O's books, and I am blessed and unstoppable. Impact one billion. Motivational art, the inner symphony of fire. Welcome to the loom. God still moves. Immortal legend, I represent the struggle, giving voice to your pain. God will never leave you, nor forsake you, so don't you dare give up. If you ever feel like throwing in the towel, you put this on because I am the voice in the flame. You tell the enemy, Billy told me not to quit. That's the way of the warrior, and to God be the glory. Are you ready to change your life? Are you going through the struggle? Are you tired of being average? Has your relationship lost that spark? 
Do you feel like you're missing something? You don't have to stay that way. Decisions ignite the explosion of change. This is Dr. Billy Alls Brooks, and I'm so excited to announce my new release, Burning the Inner Symphony of Fire. This three volume book set is going to change the game. It is the match that will set your life on fire. This book is a mind grenade that will change everything. This set includes over 1,250 success quotes, 360 self-assessment questions, over 230 poems, 62 daily devotionals, 62 positive affirmations, 62 inspirational messages. This book is going to change the world. You can't think your way to the top. You got to burn your way there. Get your copy now at blessedandunstoppable.com.